Once upon a time, there was a mother goat who lived happily with her seven young kids. One day, she had to go into the forest to fetch some food for them, so she called them all around her and said, Dear children, I'm going out into the forest, and while I'm gone, be on your guard against the wolf, for if he were to get inside, he would eat you up. The wolf often disguises himself, but he may always be recognized by his hoarse voice and black paws. Dear mother, we'll take good care of ourselves, the seven little goats replied. The mother goat said goodbye to them and went on her way with an easy mind. Dear children, stay at home and close the door. Don't let anyone in, especially not the wolf. Mother dear, we'll take care of ourselves. You can go away without any worry. Yes, Mom. We'll remember that. Yes, Mom. Come home early, Mom. <laughs> Soon after the mother goat left, someone knocked at the door and called out, Open the door, my dear children. Your mother is here and has brought each of you something. But the little kids knew it was the wolf by the hoarse voice. They cried out, We won't open the door. You aren't our mother. She has a soft and gentle voice, but your voice is hoarse. You're the wolf. Open the door, my dear children. Your mother is here and has brought each of you something. Your voice is hoarse. You must be the wolf. Your voice is hoarse. You must be the wolf. You're the wicked wolf. You're not our mother. So the wolf went to a shop, bought a large piece of chalk, and ate it up to make his voice soft. Then he came back, knocked at the door and cried, Open the door, my dear children. Your mother is here and has brought each of you something. Hearing the soft voice like the voice of their mother, the little goats were so happy that they were about to open the door for her. But the wolf had put up his black paws against the window. The kids saw them and cried out, We won't open the door. Our mother doesn't have black paws like you. You must be the wolf. Open the door, my dear children. Your mother is here and has brought each of you something. Yes, it's our mother. She has come back. Youngest goat, wait. Look at the black paws. It's not our mother. So the wolf ran to a baker and said, Baker, I'm hurt in the foot. Rub some dough on it for me. After the baker had rubbed dough on his foot, the wolf ran to the miller and said, Miller, strew some white flour on my foot for me. But the miller refused, thinking the wolf must be meaning to harm someone. If you don't do it, cried the wolf, I'll eat you up. That frightened the miller, and he made his paw white for the wicked animal. Hey, miller, strew some white flour on my foot for me. Oh, what a pity. I can't help you as I've run out of white flour. Huh? If you don't do it, I'll eat you up. Yes, yes, uh, I'll do it now. Achoo! He put his paws against the window. Seeing the white paws, the kids thought it was their mom and opened the door. When he was inside, they saw it was the wolf. They were terrified, trying to hide themselves. But the wolf found them all. He swallowed them down his throat one after the other. The youngest goat, who was in the clock case, 
was the only one he didn't find. <laughs> My goodness! It's not our mother! It's the wicked wolf! Brothers, hide yourselves! Soon afterwards, the mother goat came home. She was in a panic at the sight she saw. The door stood wide open. Tables, chairs, and stools were all thrown about, dishes broken, and pillows torn off the bed. She looked for her children, but they were nowhere to be found. She called them by name, one after the other, but no one answered. When she at last came to the youngest, a soft voice cried out, Dear mother, I'm in the clock case. The mother goat helped her out, and he told her that the wolf had come and had eaten up all the others. She cried a lot for the loss of her poor children. Mom, Mom, my little child, I'm here, don't be afraid. Mom, the wolf disguised himself as you, and he ate all my brothers and sisters up. I'm so scared. Finally, in her despair, the mother goat went outside, and the youngest kid ran with her. When they came to the meadow, they saw the wolf lying by the tree, snoring so loudly that the branches shook. The mother goat looked at him carefully on all sides, and she noticed that something was moving and struggling inside his full belly. Dear me! Is it possible that my children, whom he has swallowed down for his supper, can still be alive? And she sent the kid home for scissors, a needle and thread. Then she cut open the wolf's stomach. No sooner had she made one snip than out came the head of one of the kids. Then another snip, and one after the other, the six little kids all jumped out alive and well. Hiya, hiya. Oh, my little children, come here with me. Yay, we're free. Hiya, hiya. Oh, my little children, come here with me. Bravo, it's you, Mom. Then the mother goat said, Go now and look for some big stones. We'll fill the awful beast's stomach with them while he's still asleep. The seven kids quickly brought the stones and put as many of them into his stomach as they could get in. The mother sewed him up so quickly that he wasn't aware of anything. Go now and look for some big stones. We'll fill the awful beast's stomach with them. Hurry up. I'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> when the wolf awoke, he was going to the brook to drink. But when he began to walk and move about, the stones in his stomach knocked against each other and rattled. What rumbles and tumbles inside of me? the wolf cried out. When he came to the brook and stooped to drink, the heavy stones made him fall in and he was drowned. Seeing what had happened, the seven young goats ran up and cried out, The wolf is dead! The wolf is dead! And with their mother they danced for joy around about the brook. Wow! Finally the seven little goats weren't eaten by the wicked wolf who died and couldn't harm them any more. What lesson did you learn from this story? Be good and always obey your parents and grandparents. If they aren't at home, you should keep alert and not let strangers in. Thank you for your listening. Goodbye and see you again soon. What rumbles and tumbles inside of me? Oh!
Oh no! Bravo, the wolf is drowned! <laughs>